just about to get away with the platinum when Captain America showed up. Then you lost the fireball. Yes, and the robot control truck too. Losing the fireball is not serious. Since Dart perfected his locator, it would have been dangerous to use it again. But we must recover that truck at any cost. It would take months to duplicate its robot control and television unit. Let's see where they've taken it. Turn on the television controls. Those policemen would follow if we took it now. We must wait until they are removed. Stay here and keep your eye on it day and night. Government Museum, Dr. Maldor speaking. This is Grant Gardner, Doctor. Sorry to call you so late, but something important has just come up. Yes. I just received a phone call from the attorney of the late Professor Lyman. He's reading the will in the morning. Since you and Professor Dodge are beneficiaries, he wants you both to be there. I'll be glad to attend. What time is the meeting? 10 o'clock in the morning at the Lyman residence. And the balance of my estate to be dispersed as follows. To Professor Dodd, my lifelong friend, I bequeath my home and all its contents. To Dr. Malner, for his loyalty and untiring efforts in the cause of science, I give all my rights and interests in the Drummond Museum, with the exception of the Mayan crown jewels now in his custody. The jewels will be turned over to Professor Dodd and sold to finance an expedition into the Mayan jungle to search for the lost city of Zada. That is all, gentlemen. Now that you've inherited this estate, Professor, do you propose to live here? I hope so. If you think it's safe, I'll make it safe. I'll keep police guards around here as long as there's any sign of danger from the scarab. Thank you. What progress are you making in the scarab case? Not much. But Captain America has turned a truck over to us that may hold a clue. The mechanic is checking it now. You should be able to give me a report on it by the time I get there. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, <laughs> I must be getting back to the museum. I'll deliver the man jewels to you tomorrow. Very well, I'll expect you. Goodbye. What happened? Oh, they treated me as they always have. Lyman willed me his interest in the museum, which I already control. His only possession of any real value, the Mayan jewels, must be handed over to Professor Dodge tomorrow. Of course you intend to give them to him? Oh, certainly, certainly. That is, if Professor Dodge is still alive. Is he still staying at the DA's apartment? No, he's at the Lyman house with a strong police guard. It would be easy if he only had a robot control truck. Exactly. Come in quick. They're checking the truck. What do you make of it? Well, there are some details that I can't figure out, but it's robot control. Uh, with a device something like the automatic pilots used in planes, it can be driven without anyone at the wheel. How is it steered through traffic? I can't tell exactly. But a controlling device would have to be nearby, perhaps in the car following. I didn't find a television unit concealed in the roof. Thanks very much. If it's robot controlled, why haven't they driven it away from here? Two motorcycle officers would have followed it. I'll fix that. Then they can take it whenever they want. And when they do, I'll be inside. All right, boys. I'll take over now. Better stand by the office just in case I need you. The second that door closes on Mr. Gardner, be ready to take control of the truck. All set. Good. Take her away. Take her to the 10th Street garage. Hey, 
H1 calling B10. H1 calling B10. B10, come in. The robot truck is on the way to you. Be ready for it. We're set. Get set for the district attorney, too. He's in the middle compartment. The scarab wants him alive. Alive, get it? Right. and the house clear off the map. America. Give me that wheel. 